I want to talk to you today about God's love and faithfulness. My name is Nay and I live in Andover in Hampshire with my husband Chris. He's a vicar and we have three children. Ten years ago, I qualified as a social worker and I worked for Hampshire Children's Services and I was actually based in Andover, so I knew all the street names. I had done countless home visits in this area. But over the last few years, when Chris has trained to be a vicar, we've had to move around quite a lot as a family and we've done different placements in different areas. So from Winchester, Oxford, Alton, and then more recently we were in London where Chris was a part of the HTB staff team and an opportunity came up for a new vision, a church plant in Andover, and we went for it. Now, 10 years ago, as a social worker, I would never have known that I would be bringing my own family, my own buggy, pacing around these streets, settling here in Andover, and now we lead St Mary's Andover. And since moving here, there's been a Bible verse that I have really held on to from Lamentations, and it says this, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I grew up in a Christian family, and so I've known Jesus in my life from a very young age and learned to see his love and faithfulness just in my every day. And that continues to be my experience. Since we moved here, school places became available at the right moment for our children when we moved halfway through an academic year. And I'm a real people person. I love to be around people. That's how I relax. And so I joined uh, Andover Netball team. And that's been an amazing way of meeting some great friends. And we have had the privilege of meeting so many different people, new people to church who have gathered around this new vision. And one fun way that we've... Um, put it out there on social media is me doing Nays News, which is essentially like a silly, fun update that goes out on Facebook to all the different groups across Andover, letting people know what we're doing, what's new, it's for everybody and how anyone can join in. We have experienced God's love and faithfulness in all sorts of ways that we could never have expected. And then COVID-19 happens. So we have to close our church building. Many of us are doing home learning with kids. Others are running businesses from their kitchen table, or maybe you did both. I managed to dislocate my knee not long before lockdown. And I can assure you that that is less than ideal as a full-time mum. We have had to negotiate an enormous amount of change and disruption. And now we're trying to find this new normal but so many people have had a really tough time. People have lost loved ones. You may have been ill yourself. Others have experienced broken relationships and many of us find ourselves in real financial difficulty and uncertainty as we are encouraged to get on as best we can. It doesn't mean that these hard experiences and challenges are disappearing. We're all lamenting stuff. And in the book of Lamentations, when everything is going wrong, we hear of God's love and faithfulness. Because of his great love, we are not consumed. It can feel easy to be overwhelmed by the anxieties that we're carrying or stressed out by certain situations that feel pretty hopeless. But it says God's compassions never fail. They are new every morning. In our own relationships, we might feel like we're running out of chances and that people aren't gonna keep putting up with us getting it wrong or being in a bad place. But it says, God's promises are fresh and new every morning. He doesn't give up on us. God's promises are ready for you. I have experienced God's love and faithfulness in so many simple ways over the last few months. Like a young mum who has just finished our online alpha course texts me this week to say, I've just tried your church service online for the first time instead of doing my yoga app and now I'm looking at the Bible in one year. Or a really elderly lady in our community who's still really nervous about going out and doing her weekly shop. A young family who live in the same area as her have been doing her groceries for months and they continue to do it today and deliver it to her door. 
So as the summer months continue, whatever that may look like for you, because of God's love and faithfulness, you can know that Jesus is with you. Because of his great love, because he died for you, you can know that he is for you. God's love and faithfulness is promised to you every day. And that is true even in this moment. In Jesus' name, amen.